Well, I haven't looked at the title, but knowing what I do about these and looking at the body style, I'd say this is roughly about a 2006 era Sierra, uh, which is a Forest River travel trailer. Just came on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Actually, if you see tire tracks in the snow right here, that was their new open range 3X high end fifth wheel leaving. So these folks were definitely ones that had quality taste. This is a nice piece. Um, Sierra's always been a, a brand that I have good respect for, even though we don't carry it here, so keep that in mind. I'm not a dealer of this product, and I still have pretty healthy respect for it. It's a very nice coach, and these were very good quality people that took care of it. This camper is used, not abused. You gotta remember, it's an 06, roughly, um, and it might be an 06 exactly, I haven't checked again. But uh, it's in very good shape. The exterior is not just sunbaked, it was stored inside when not in use. So that is a huge factor. Um, this thing's a beast. It's got to be. It's got to be about 38 feet roughly. But it, uh, that extra length is adding some very cool interior features that you just don't often find, especially in a travel trailer. Now, one thing I do like that extra length is giving us is an extremely long awning. This has got to be closer to 22 feet than 20. Um, that's a, a very nice benefit here. Um, the uh, oversized entry handle is something I've always liked, especially for folks maybe with, uh, you know, like a bad knee or back or something like that. Just makes it a lot easier hopping in and out of the camper. One little wear and tear issue, and this is why I put these videos together, show you the good and the bad. The little um, door handle here looks like it might have seen better days, but that's like, that's two screws and maybe three bucks. That is not a big problem. I mean, if that's going to be a deal breaker for you, you let us know. Chances are we can take care of little stuff like that. In case you are wondering, this weighs about 9,400 pounds. It's a good size trailer. It's a big triple slide travel trailer. You're going to need a good truck for it. You're going to need a very heavy duty half ton. I'd prefer you have a three quarter. Now, one thing I do like in here is this is extra tall. If you notice, my head has lots of room above it. That's because this RV is about seven foot tall inside. That's a very big deal. When you are, uh, you know, at a campsite for an extended period of time, you want that extra space. You want that extra openness. We do have central air and central heat in here, so it is going to be comfortable. Good three season camper is what this is. Um, very common super slide. We've got a hide a bed sofa next to a dinette that can fold down. Again, showing you the good with the bad. A little hiccup I did notice. This is really not a big deal. The little team molding uh, looks like it popped out the back there. It's probably from just being cold. Not a big deal. Uh, again, purely cosmetic, and odds are you could just pop that team molding back in place. But again, keep in mind, I'm, show I'm being nitpicky, and I'm showing you every little thing I can find in this so that if you are driving from a long way away, you do have the confidence of knowing that uh, this does look like you expect it to look when you get here. Now, Hard thing to pick out by eye unless you're trained to do so. This is an 8 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. It means it's 33% larger than what you normally find in this class. Also worth mentioning is the fact that not just the upper cabinet doors, but also the lower cabinet doors are raised panel hardwoods, meaning these things are going to hold up a little bit better to long-term use and abuse. Um, I do like the folding stove top cover here for a couple reasons. It can act like a grease shield so that when you are cooking it's... Uh, you know, easier to keep everything clean and whatnot. But I also want to show you, these folks weren't real heavy cookers. You know, they were very easy on this camper. This is just where they came to get out of the weather a little bit. Now, this big radius top uh, countertop right here, it's, uh, it's actually adding tons of extra countertop space that most travel trailers in this category just simply don't have. They did do something very interesting with their bathroom that really surprised me, and in a good way. Um, it's it's almost set up a lot like a fifth wheel in that we have a just a stool and a shower here. Now, you do have the bigger fan, which is always a positive. This is not the smaller fan. But notice that the stool is facing away from the door. This actually has lots of leg room and whatnot in it, which I thought was really cool. Now, what they did is they split the bathroom, again, like a lot of fifth wheels. So your, your lavatory and your medicine cabinet, they're over here. Your sink and medicine cabinet are over here. Not to mention that is a huge honking medicine cabinet. Um, but that means we have extra countertop space down here that's not going to get cluttered up by toothbrushes and shavers. So someone, you figure in a bunkhouse like this, you can have a lot of people running in and out. What this 
separated sink means is that someone can be in the shower at night while someone else is brushing your teeth. Really, really nice if you need to shuttle a bunch of kids through here. Now, speaking of kids, there is a privacy pocket door for both the front bedroom and the rear bunkhouse here, as you see. And uh, the rear bunks, this uh, upper bunk does fold up. So you can use this like a sofa during the day. That will fold down into a sleeper at night. I kind of have it between the two here. In case you're wondering, this is just a little um, daytime shade if someone needs to, uh, you know, sneak a uh, sneak a nap. I didn't retract it. I just flipped it down so that you could get a quick idea of what we were looking at. And I didn't want to forget to point that out. So that jackknife's down like a, a common jackknife sofa. That folds up out of the way. Notice how much headroom they have in here because this trailer is extra tall. Now, I specifically left these closed to show you little preventative measures. They Velcroed these doors shut. They actually installed a strap system to keep those doors from popping open. And that tells me these people were very smart in particular about taking care of their camper because if this slide out is in and that flange catches on that door, you know, if this drawer is slid open and that slide out, you go to push the slide out, catches that, it would rip everything to shreds and you'd have no way of detecting that until it was too late. These folks recognize that. They obviously knew how to take care of their camper. They were obviously seasoned veteran campers. This, by the way, is a conversion stool slash chair. It's actually like a three-step stool. It's pretty cool. Now, I also left these here on purpose. Um, little dryer sheets. Dryer sheets uh, do the same thing as mothballs. They prevent critters, but they do so without making your trailer smell like great grandma's closet. Uh, so seeing dryer sheets is a very good thing. Again, I see a lot of very good signs that these people knew how to take care of their camper. They definitely used it. They actually used it a lot. But um, if you looked at just the condition of this camper, you wouldn't think they used it as much as they did. And that's what's really telling. I do like that there is uh, linoleum from the entry door all the way through the bathroom clear up to the bunkhouse so it is easy to keep your main living space clean. Now this was built before flat screens were so common like they are today but that's actually kind of a cool thing because it means you have this extra deep um, entertainment cabinet with lots of extra storage and you see that they even added some extra shelving in here just to maximize that storage. Anytime I see owner's manuals that's a good day. I like seeing these things. That tells me that these folks kept track of stuff. Even stuff like this they they wouldn't lose their remote controls because they made a special spot for them. Little stuff like that is just really cool. And again, it tells me they kept track of things. Um, again, pocket doors for both uh, bed uh, both sides of the bedroom. Very common rank and file front uh, bedroom. But again, because this is seven foot tall, you do have extra storage in those hanging closets on both sides of the bed. And again, overall, I mean it's in good shape. I don't see anywhere where someone tried to get cute and screw something into the roof or, you know, drill a hole through this or that. They didn't modify this trailer. They just used it and maintained it and did a good job of it. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.